Isn't this incredible, guys? We've just got two wild dogs that have come running out. Now, I don't know where Shongila and Hosanna have gone. I think they may have run and gone into a tree or a thicket, and these two dogs have just appeared out of nowhere. Isn't this spectacular? So Twin Dams is absolutely incredible this morning. Now, I reckon these wild dogs have heard that Impala shout, and they've come running to see what's going on. You can see, look how alert they are. They're busy checking to see what's happening and seeing if there's any sign of what was causing this Impala to shout. I wonder if they didn't actually see the leopards. Now, the leopards are a little bit further south of where we are, so let's just see how this all plays out. I'm pretty sure Shungila and Hassan are clever enough to know if they see these dogs to go up into trees, and maybe that's why Shungila's trotted off that way, but I don't think so. I don't think they would have seen them, because these dogs have come straight over this riverbed, and we just bumped into them as we were trying to get round to where the leopards are, but this is absolutely amazing. Now, I'm not sure which dogs these are. Generally, we're seeing a pack of three, and I only see the two now, unless the third one is behind me somewhere, but I only see the two at the moment. And it looks like a female and a male, with the male closest to us. You can see his appendage hanging down on his tummy there. Oh, big yawn as well. Isn't this spectacular? So this is Africa's most endangered carnivore that we see in South Africa. So we really are very, very, very lucky to see them and the leopards. Absolutely incredible. So just want to give James an update for the leopards in case the leopards disappear so James can carry on with them. They went into To the Mulawati going in an easterly direction, Alice. So, if you can let James know, they were in the Franklins, and there goes Hosanna to go chase after them. So, I'm going to try and get around and see if we. Visual from the other side before we lose them, because if they go across and I can't get around, we're not going to be able to keep up with them. But isn't this fantastic to see the two of them together again? It's been, I don't know, together since the Karula disappearance, so I would imagine it's over a month that we've had these two uh, together. So really special to have them playing around. Right, so I'll, I try and get into position and try and find these two little hooligans again. Let's go across to Jamie, who seems to be doing being a hooligan of her own. And look at those dogs. That is amazing. They're still just sitting, and I wonder if this is maybe a dispersal pair that is going to form a new pack. That would be quite interesting if we've got a male and a female. Uh, stations just to let you know, Asana Shungila, Twin Dams, and Tuma Dash as well. So, they obviously are a split off from another pack. Now, I know that there was three dogs that split off the Sands pack, which is a pack that we see fairly regularly. And this will often happen, is you'll find that males and females that want to breed, that aren't breeding in part of the pack itself, will then shift off and form their own new pack. So, wouldn't it be incredible if we got another pack forming from this male and female? Now I'm pretty sure this was a pack of three and that maybe the other one is missing or is somewhere lagging behind. It is possible the wild dogs at this time of the day are hunting, they're moving, and so sometimes they end up chasing different things in different directions. And you never know, maybe the third dog has put Hosanna and Shongile up into a tree. And is just sitting at the bottom there. But generally when that happens, if a wild dog comes across another predator, and it will attract the whole pack to try and come and help it with what it's doing. Now we're going to try and see if we can stay with these wild dogs. I don't know if we're going to be able to. They're going into a thick area, but let's try.